Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. My husband blamed Maine for our son's loss and rejected our triplet daughters. Now I'm diversing him to protect my family. I 27 female have been with my husband 29 male for five years, married for three of those years. Our marriage was perfect and we were so happy. It felt like our entire life was perfect church on Sunday, loving husband, beautiful home, all of it. A few months into our marriage, I became pregnant and my husband and I were overjoyed and so was the rest of our family. My husband was especially happy after finding out our baby was a boy, as he'd always told me he wanted at least one son. I even started to try to repair my relationship with my mother so our son could have a relationship with his grandparents. I had originally cut off most contact with my mother due to how she treated my brother when he married his husband. Though my brother said he was all right with my decision to try to get her back in my life since he still has love for her, and my baby was her first grandchild. However, our son didn't make it, and it broke me. I fell into a deep sadness, and even considered not being able to go on, but my husband was there for me through all of it and we got through the grief. Our marriage felt stronger than ever, and life started slowly feeling beautiful again, even if it no longer felt perfect. About five months ago, I found out I'm pregnant again, and then found out soon after that we're having triplets. My husband and I were over the moon, and he was the most doting and loving husband. Since we had always said we wanted two to three children, we agreed we wouldn't try for any more children after this. Because of our and our family's excitement for the triplets, we decided to throw a baby shower and gender reveal party. We trusted my brother with the genders of the triplets, and he bought some confetti cannons with the colored streamers inside. The baby shower went wonderfully with my parents, in-laws, my brother and his husband and their daughter and tons of friends and extended family. It was like a dream come true, and I was so excited for the gender reveal. I don't care what the gender of our babies was, I just wanted healthy little babies, but my husband was clearly excited for potentially three sons. When the time came, me, my husband, and my brother all shot a confetti cannon, and all three shot out pink confetti. I was so excited, and so was my brother, but my husband screamed at the top of his lungs and hit the table in front of us, hitting it so hard that it actually broke. He screamed at me that I was supposed to give him at least one son because I failed with our first one. That's when I burst into tears. I had been so broken up about our son's loss, and a part of me had felt it was my fault, and now my husband, the love of my life, was telling me that it was. My brother immediately stepped in and tried to get my husband to calm down, but my husband shoved my brother. So my brother instead pulled me inside where I cried in the living room while my husband's mother tried to calm him down. I could hear him screaming outside about how three daughters are too many, how he doesn't want four kids, but he also wants a son. Ever since that moment, my husband has hardly talked to me. He's been sleeping in the guest room, and when we do interact, he's clearly upset and mad and tries to argue with me. I tried to talk to him about it and asked about how he'll be with our three daughters, but he spat at me and told me he will provide them shelter and food. But he isn't interested in daughters and doesn't plan to have a close relationship with them. That sealed the deal that I want to divorce him, and I cried myself to sleep last night. Earlier today, I confided in my mother and mother-in-law about all this, but they told me I can't divorce my husband just because he wants a son. I don't want my daughters to grow up in an unloving household where their parents constantly argue and their father doesn't love them. The moment my husband said I was to blame for our son, I felt as though I lost all love I had for him in an instant, and I don't want my daughters to be in that kind of household. However, both my mom and mother-in-law say it's just natural for men to want sons and that at least he isn't saying he'll mistreat them. They treated this as absolute fact and acted as though I'm just a silly little girl who doesn't know anything. I felt incredibly small and stupid. I don't know what to do. My mother and mother-in-law make me feel like maybe I'm overreacting to my husband's behavior. But my brother says this is not normal as he and his husband are both men who absolutely love their daughter. I'm also not sure of what I'll do with myself if I divorce my husband. I don't work, and I'm not sure how I'll be able to find a job that can support me and three babies all on my own, or how I'll make time for all of them when I have to work. I feel so lost and helpless. I'm torn on what to do because I worry divorce will be too brash of a decision, and that maybe my mother and mother-in-law are right. From the comments, first, stop sharing your feelings on this and your plans on this with your mother-in-law and mother. They made you feel like you are wrong. This guy says he isn't going to care for them right. He blamed you for the loss of your baby and has spat on you. You can't stay with this guy. If you get pregnant again, no guarantee it would be a boy with then. He meant everything he said because he still isn't talking to you. I think about it. He spat on you like you were a piece of trash over something you have no control of. Chew on that for a bit. Stop talking and listening to them. You cannot stay with him. You have to know that. Update, I didn't expect to have an update so soon, but after reading everyone's comments, I decided to take action immediately and went to my brother's house. We talked for hours through the night and came up with a plan. I am going to divorce my husband. He's shown the kind of man he is, and I don't want to live in or raise daughters in that kind of environment. I'm going to move in with my brother and brother-in-law during all this. He and his husband have a nice, large house where I can have my own room and a nursery for the triplets. I originally worried that perhaps myself and three babies would be overwhelming or a burden to him and my brother-in-law, 
but they assured me they would love to have us here. I knew everything would be okay when my brother even offered to have a baby monitor put in their bedroom so he could help if more than one of the triplets woke up during the night. My brother-in-law has a nice, high-paying job and my brother works from home, so I will have a stable environment and my brother will help with his nieces. My own niece is excited for us to live with her. The current plan is I will live with my brother and brother-in-law for a while, and once my babies are old enough where I feel comfortable putting them in daycare, which my brother-in-law has offered to pay for, then I can try to find a job of my own where I can save up money and eventually move into a nice place of my own with my daughters. I'm so thankful for my brother and brother-in-law. They truly feel like angels. My brother and I are also going to go no contact with my mother. My brother and I discussed her behavior with us growing up, how she treated him when he came out and also got married, and how she's treated me these past few days. We decided this was the best course of action, as we've given her many chances in our lives to become more stable and kind, but she's always refused them. And we want our daughters to grow up in a loving family. When I knew my husband had left for church this morning, my brother, brother-in-law, and I went to my house and got all my important things, such as documents, clothes, and things that are special to me, as well as all the baby things. My brother-in-law's mother watched my niece while we did all this. She's a kind woman and has offered to be a grandmother to my own babies, which I happily accepted. I will admit that I cried. I've cried a lot lately, but mostly happy tears because my brother and I didn't go to church. My ladies' Bible study group texted me and asked if we were all right and if we needed anything. I texted them back and told them the truth and what happened, and they were all horrified. They told me they support me and are proud of me for taking action and are now even planning a bake sale at the church to help raise money for me and my babies. Also, apparently, when my husband went out to lunch after church with his men's Bible group, one of the other members is husband to one of my friends in my Bible group, and when he found out what happened— he yelled at my husband so much that he cried. I got a little bit of joy out of hearing about that, not going to lie. My pastor even called me and asked if I'm okay. And he let me know that I'll always have people who support me at my church, which I'm very grateful for. After my husband came home from church and saw that most of my stuff was gone, he blew up my phone. But my brother-in-law called him for me and said that he would pay for my husband to get therapy for his grief over our son and also told him to leave me alone. My husband has not tried to contact me since, and he has yet to give my brother-in-law an answer for his therapy offer. All in all, I'm so grateful for my brother and brother-in-law. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without them. I'm hopeful for the future, and while this isn't the kind of future I imagined for myself or my babies, this is definitely the best one I can currently give them. They say it takes a village, and my babies will definitely have a village full of love and support. Thank you and bless you to everyone who left comments supporting me. I'm grateful for all of them, and I'm glad I could give you a very speedy and happy update. From the comments, I am so happy you have a strong support group. You are doing what's best for you and your girls, giving them a happy, safe life with people who care about them. Do not let your soon-to-be ex gaslight you into going back to him. He has shown you who he really is, and you need to remember that. His cruel words about your son are unforgivable. Best of luck. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.